These are the best highlights from the matchup between RNG and EDG during the 2024 LPL summer split. Main thing that we're gonna end up seeing with EDG, the gnarly see this going down, but of course EDG have that information. As I say it though, this one's already gone. He might have to yield the rest of these. First move as well from a lot of EDG here. Surely you can't contest this one at this point. Smite available. JJ, he's going to be able to get one. Stranglethorns Thorns go wide, but here comes Crying jumping into the mix, Gedry the target, and slammed against the wall. Crying goes out for first blood, though. One for one now, a solo kill suddenly on the front line alone, and he'll fall too. RNG win the trade. For RNG, he will likely be one of those silent win conditions, right? Gold cards, so important. Oh, Dai play on the bot side. Fong is going to go down. Beautiful <laughs> bit of play from EDG. JJ. As well, the, the consequence of that play is JJ stealing away some jungle camps on top of that as Cry in. Oh no. Gedry's here, finds the stun, finds the passive. The burn is taken away, and it's enough. Pi Early on. Uh, Juice is walking out of base right now with that ultimate, so he's got a bit of a window to show up to this fight. EDG are a little bit scattered. No TP for so the fire pick after the fact. Leave hunting gets the slow one. Huang Fong, he's caught out of position, but does dash to the rest of his team. Drake taking his wing now has gone too far forward. Bullet time to drive by space, but Iwandi denies everything. EDG fleeing as Juice looks for more on the backside. Wing goes in and finds a kill. Wing just destroyed Iwandi. I can't believe about this Herald, perhaps. Should be able to finish this one off, although. Juice using that destiny, he's going to try and find Leave, who is oh, really lonely in this river. The stun comes out from Wink, but Iwandi still finds his mark. Juice grabbing another kill. So far, the Twist of Fate ultimates finding value on the map, but solo kill finding value elsewhere as he just sticks around on the top side. They're always going to do. Just going to be a little bit less uh, on tempo, a little bit more delayed for them. And now RNG will have this Herald for this Dragon in a minute's time, and we'll see how they get to use it. They Juice. try and make a mid-play on what the players will have to see. Wink is fast. How the placements went for both these teams, and especially with RNG removing Wei and Ming. I mean, they're still on the roster, but not starting today. I really wasn't sure what shape this team was going to be in, but... So, uh, this might just be killed before it gets the charge. <laughs> this is tragic, isn't it? Tang Yuen has found solo kill in the top side. That's oh. a mini dart with... No rage, uh, he's gonna have this. It would be more useful for EDG against the poke of the Corky and the Kaiser. As Juice gonna ghost here, he's looking for JJ, or maybe just looking to find a way out. He's behind enemy lines and he's surrounded in every direction, Juice. How did you get here, buddy? I don't know, but Wink <laughs> for a play once Destiny is back up on the map. Or once TF, rather, is up with Destiny yeah. back up on the map. Uh, but it does. Kind of turn into this mid tower. Likely going down here. Five grub should help with that. Now Tang Yuan sees Mini Nar. Oh, just as he turns into Mini Nar as well. Solo kill is found Ooh. and forced. If only bring me back to the glory days. I miss Do you know, four. I say that. I reckon that yeah. the game was probably in a terrible state in season four. We just didn't know oh, absolutely. how to abuse it. Oh, you know? People yeah. just weren't any good at the game at the time. Although I say that. I agree. Uh, Samson got pretty good in 2004, as we've got a massive play uh, coming across here. JJ's going to go down. Solo kill's going to go down. RNG just open all barrels at EDG. Global ultimates flying across the screen. Back team fight that we know they want. It could look beautiful. Ooh. Oh, all of the plants are down. This is potentially an angle for EDG to just burst through. TP comes in, but it's already 6k on the Baron. He's going to go down before Keju even sees it. Baron taken, uh. and Keju flashed into the pit as well. Takes a massive chunk for his trouble as Iwandi gets the brunt of the plants on the end of the play. Solo kill in the mid lane. Huang Fong with the snipe. It's dodged by solo kill. Uh just judging how quickly that Baron can go down, right? That uh, Destiny used for vision just to get information because obviously Jeju like, had no more wards. It was already dead. By the time he cast it, he had like maybe a half a second to flash over the wall. Yeah. As a uh, wink. Not gonna get onto the brand without that flash, speaking of. But again, more exchanges oh, being God. won on by EDG across the map. <laughs> Five grubs and Baron with a Triss starter while Drake is being taken. I mean, this is uh, gonna be different. Pressure all the harder. As now they'll just take this tier two up here. Just immediately. One wave yeah. is all it's gonna take. And that is the end of the Baron buff. Wink stun. Leave! 
<laughs> what are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> You're against a twisted fate. And now Wink might be in trouble as well. That's a CC chain, and that's one dead cow. EDG, sure, they get the tier two on the top side. It was a positive Baron play until this moment where the whole of RNG are collapsing onto EDG. JJ goes down. Juice is taking over the game. Do a lot of damage in terms of swaying favor for that 5v5 if they have to walk into it. Yeah, ordinarily, I'd say... Uh, a soul for a Baron is probably a worthwhile oh. trade, but honestly, with this comp from RNG, maybe not. And it's already going to go down before EDG even can test. They found a kill onto Iwandi. It's traded for the Baron. EDG should be able to get themselves soul off of this, but still, RNG, nice. Be careful here. Oh, he's about to turn Mega. I think he'll be okay. Yeah. Just That's scared. Just Juice window. does a lot of damage. Juice does a lot yeah. of damage. Four items. That snuck up very, very silently. And gold doesn't feel that meaningful. All of our carries are on three plus items. Oh, recall denied from crying. Tanguin looking for the chance. Crying. Oh, the buster shot to two. He gets out with his life. Oh, but here comes Juice. You're not getting that far out. As Quan Funk flies into the players. With the carries being the way they are, and just the way that EDG have slipped these last couple of minutes in terms of like setting up the pressure into this game, EDG, they're going to start this Baron. And I mean, it's going to burn down quickly. I'm just going to say it's already gone. So. RNG, I'm not going to say happy to give that up, but they're trading it potentially for an easier way into this Elder Dragon. They're going to be in the river first. I want the wink. I want to use the Magnus Storm. Mick Wink uses the Unbreakable Will, but it's pretty breakable by the looks of things. Get you forced out on the bottom side of the fight. And RNG now. Are you going to heal off of the red buff as well using that? Oh, solo kill. Jungle sustain. Oh, God. EDG. Megana, that's big. I mean, they're a man down. They've got no Meganar. They're running out of ultimates. Geju caught potentially, but turns golden and juices on the backside. Crown with Captain Jack Lens. But here comes Wong Fung to finish the kill. Leave massive damage across the team of RNG. Maybe EDG can actually turn this one. Solo kill, so chunked. Everyone on RNG low, but nobody going down. And they retreat to the Elder Dragon. Pings in the base from EDG as they look to trade. Yeah, they want to trade this out, but I'm just not sure what they'll realistically be able to get here. Teleport down and an inhib at best seems like will be the trade but if you're rng do you care you get elder you just run straight back down this exact lane or oh, you no, find, no. find a flank with teleport they don't get the inhib and they maybe get caught instead tang yuen gonna look for them rockets flying in getting that dot ticking away it's against an ocean soul but look at geju's positioning here pyroclasm on cooldown solo kill finds him over the wall damage coming in but there goes the ad carry solo kill trying to escape with his life but the burns starting to stack up at this point and he surely goes down to the elder dragon strangle thorns comes in to try and protect the top laner but it's hopeless rng find another pick they find another chance and of this EDG team fight gone and RNG with this elder still have a very easy way into this backline if they so want it. Juice has taken a reset there for a second. He doesn't have to cover anything. They're going to get this window in now. And I mean, realistically, Joe, how far can they go they, with this I, elder up? They could just end the game. I think they might. Wink has to use the unbreakable will. There's so much damage on this RNG squad. They can do this so efficiently as they clear away the minion waves, but no. Calling off the play despite still having a split and perhaps a chance on to cry in here. Captain Jack Lens comes in. I want he gets the Magnus Storm, but Juice was punted away by the Buster Shot and crying gets out with his life. EDG trying to start a fight. In the meantime, his Wink goes in. I want the target. And finally, EDG get themselves something to work with. Second. Inhib is wide open. EDG probably just get an inhib here. If Leave gets a few seconds on that, it will go fast. The resets have come through for RNG, but they just lose an inhib for trying to... Today, here's this Baron attempt. We said they get a couple of seconds on it, they'll shred it. RNG should know this. They can see the vision, of course. And they're just not even going to contest. They know it's too fast. Baron will be picked up. Right. Elder in 40 seconds. Yeah. This is going to get spicy That's... now. This Elder could decide everything. Crying going to start the objective off as the bullet time nearly finishes. Juice does have Destiny. Well, that's a slow old recall to get back to base. Elder's already going to be gone. That bullet time got the objective for EDG. Hib's already gone. They're, they're TPing bot. Tango TPing bot. That's a teleport match from Crying. So this is now 4v5. He's got Elder. Oh. He's got Elder. 
He's gonna jump on top, surely finishes the kill here. Flash comes out from Tango in the bomb on top, and it's a solo Dead. kill for crying in the bot side. And in the meantime, Geju went down in the main feed. That is gonna be game. EDG versus RNG. It's never not action-packed. It's never not close. But EDG just about edge out game one. Down in kills, barely up in gold as they finish the first game. But finish it, they win. Will EDG one zero two? Um, you know that was a that was a different time. <laughs> it feels like a long time ago now, doesn't it? But Hong Fong still very much an expert. On this is the Nirvana group. And EDG and RNG would love to make an impression. As level two hit on both bot lanes, and I want the ignited flashes away. The follow up comes through, and EDG two v two the bot side of RNG. Yeah, that last tick for of Ignite is what gets... Now that Tengu adds it. Oh, who's going to get him first? Who's going to get him first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> but it will be will be an objective trade regardless. It's a yeah. plate. She goes down in the bottom side as well. We saw the reset from Juan Fong crying. Gets to the other side of Tengu, who wasn't level 6 just yet. Tengu now hitting Ooh. 6 tries for the play. The flash will not quite in oh. the right spot. Uh. Requiem, is it enough? <gasps> oh, what HP! One <laughs> HP in a dream, Tengu and walks away. No. Even scraping back some of this gold, shared or not, uh, is going to be a huge deal. And they're also just giving up this second dragon, right? So with six grubs, realistically, there should be the whole tower. Leaves getting solar plates down here on the bottom side. So that's also something to consider for the extended trade, right? Yeah. Uh, Misfortune getting super strong. as Wang Fang is going to find himself on the end of a trade for crying, but no more mana. Grubs, they're just moving him around, right? Getting all of these numbers. They're giving up objectives, yes, but they're just trading gold for it. So for now, they don't mind, and they're just utilizing the grubber. And they have actually gained themselves... Uh, well, they've got themselves even in gold, which compared to the almost 2,000 gold lead that we saw earlier in favor of EDG, definitely positive for RNG. Getting a tier 2 this early on in the game as well is fantastic for them in the side lane. It's a huge amount of gold. Perhaps Herald could go straight up to the top lane... We'll see if he can find his targets. Should be this tower going down. A solo kill and crying group up to finish the objective. One auto. Wasn't quite enough, but they just turn on to Juice instead. I want he starts the fight and they find an angle on solo kill, but the charm comes on through and suddenly solo kill almost survives. He still went down though. I want hunting for more as crying is flicked back. Juice the hero off the play as he turns it around in RNG's favor. Tanguen has now TP'd behind enemy lines here, but not for a play onto the players. Instead, looking towards potentially an in hip tower. Yeah, wave is a little bit far. EP. That's it a really is. weird it's, TP. It's strange. I think I think he was expecting uh, EDG to retreat, you know, through the lane. Oh, as curtain call. Curtain call flies on through. Leave trying to clear the wave, but the back. curtain call is enough to stop him ulting and secure the tier one in the mid lane for RNG. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, so RNG apparently they're starting up the Sparrow. Twenty minutes on the dot. Teleports are coming down as well. Requiem before the play just to chunk out some of these members too. Yeah, trying to get that chunk. The Baron is still just burning on through. Iwandi tanking in the meantime. 3k in the pit. Iwandi buying space. The bottom time in RNG. Do get the Baron a solo kill. Sets up one. Huang Fung the next target as Geju gets over the wall. But Kryon chasing through. Double slow from solo kill. The follow up from Kryon as Juice tries to turn it around. But it just ain't that tanky yet in this game. And EDG, they do punish. Three kills for the Baron. RNG get themselves a Baron. And even though they're currently in a negative Baron power play and leave, might just about get this tower for free. Let's see exactly what damage RNG can do to the remaining structures. Rotating quite easily here. Someone needs to give Juice a, a ride out or he's going to lose a bit of his health. But yeah, I mean, Dragon tied up. EDG, they're not really in a good angle. Solo Kill's looking for the wraparound, but he's a little bit away from Mega. That's two objectives in a row for RNG. Solo kill looks for the ultimate requiem. Comes in, gets you the target. He goes down. Iwandi will fall shortly as well. Two for EDG and trade for the Drake. And I mean, they are getting these kills. They're getting more gold, but they're losing all of the objectives. Under yeah. the hood. Juice looking on to Kryon. He's got Gedju oh, a while no. away. He's got a teleport here for Tang Yuan. Oh, the flash for the slow and then goes for the all out as well. Juice making the play happen. Kryon was caught out in the side lanes in the previous game. Chasing that lead for their mid laner, right? However, they can get uh, Tang Yuan back some gold after the early exchanges. They've really done a pretty good job 
trying to make that happen. Tier 2 on the bottom side. For EDG, and as we've mentioned, a lot of that is in the pocket of Leave. We need to see him perform in this next fight. Baron is up, and here we go. Skill shots landing. Wink trying to escape, but the bomb is on his end. Oh! oh! Dashes into the bullet. It's like the opposite of that film wanted. Uh, Juice TP's pretty deep on this one. Oh, no. Juice, he's had such a good game for oh. himself. Does get out, but the Requiem comes through. And Juice burning. Flash from Solo Kill to kill the opposite man. And suddenly it turns into an EG, EDG favored play. I want trying to escape, slowed by the rock. EDG desperate to turn this into a second win, desperate to get their first win off the Tang rumble Yuan. stage on the board. Tang Yuan trying to find the solo kill and goes one for one with Leaf. Joe, I don't know which one of them did it, but one of them auto attacked a mini. EDG seemingly don't want to give up soul point, even though they could get the Baron here. Not willing to make any oh, sacrifice. Geju. Nice, Zonyas keeps his stuff alive by Wandy trying to tank for him. In the meantime, the CC chain's great! Sets up for the kill onto Cryon and King Drake looks like RNG will get it, and I don't think JJ is going to try and move his way in in the end. This will be three Infernal Drakes for the side of RNG. All right, that's a lot of extra damage now stacked up between those three Infernal. And in the meantime, EDG start the Baron once again. Karthus does this so fast alongside that core key. RNG looking for the fighter's wing. Just trying to keep them at bay. 4K on the Baron. Juice goes in. That's the combo that they've been looking for. EDG finally get those all synced up. Solo kill has gone way too deep on the backside of the fight. They're all out. Was it even an all-out from Juice? Yeah, it was. Okay. The all-out pulls him out to safety. I can see the ult icon online. EDG, though, should grab themselves the Baron off the back of this one. Get you down. No smite available. RNG, last-ditch effort. Curtain call comes on in, but the Baron is taken, and now Juice might have overstepped, trying to get back out to safety. EDG, find the objective. JJ is low, but it does. As well, almost loses his life on the bottom side. The EDG are just... Yeah. Relentless in their shove across these lanes, and RNG are just crumbling. They can't really hold on right now. This is the power of these double AD carry compositions. You take towers so effectively. That's double inhib as Infernal's Dragon is about to spawn as well. Wouldn't be surprised to see uh, EDG just clearing this wave and then moving over towards that Dragon Pit. You do want to make sure that you guys are the first ones there without RNG being able to move in as well. Ward spots out leave. Curtain Call comes in and juices behind enemy lines. Leave the target. No solo kill. Will be pulled in with the all out. Turns Mega though and finds a stun. Wing follows up. The great turnaround from EDG. Leave looking for an angle, but bullet time's on cooldown right now. And the burn is coming through and Genju flashed away from though. As Juice now gets onto leave in the front line. The health bars low for RNG, but they find EDG's carries. They find their angles. And RNG flipping around. Crying takes out Juice at the end. And somehow it's absolute fight off of the back of effectively nothing. It, it was a retreat away from the siege of EDG. They get a good chase down. Now they have Soul that's off. They'll do this pretty quick. Solo kill trying to buy space. Meganar is about to time out. It's not ideal for EDG. They do not want to fight right now. But they look like they're still going in. Kern Call goes through. The charm across the front lines. Try and keep them in the play. The bullet time shreds. Just what we were talking about. But there goes the Curtain Call and finishes off the job. That's JJ oh, down. Requiem on to I The burn is ticking away. But I don't think it's quite enough. And RNG. But ADG, they lose their jungler. They're still willing to go onto the Baron here. For now, I mean, it's... It's still a risk. If Gedru up on the map, he doesn't have flash for a couple more seconds. But he didn't know. They but didn't they, know. Just, yeah, a little bit slow. So We're not ready it. for the rush. I mean, EDG Andy almost died, even through the Unbreakable Wheel, right? So it's not even a bad option just to get the frontliners out of the equation. But it's really if they can find those carries. That's the real big game-breaking picks that they're looking for. But with this Baron, they want... Hello, Gedru. JJ is just going to go down and oh. bust a shot away from the team, so his passive can't do anything. Solo kill dashes out safety. The curtain call doing some damage. The Requiem to answer, but I mean, RNG just going to pick essentially a freebie to me. Still got solo kills ultimate. Oh, just needs God. to build up the Meganar bar, but realistically, that Elder's gone. EDG. I've got to find a 3v5 miracle, or they lose everything. Elder taken. 
And that's going to be bullet time used. In the meantime, Iwandi looks for a little bit more. EDG, they've just got to try and escape. They've got to try and run away from the play. But Crying goes down. And RNG, this might just be the window. We're crying down for a minute. He down mid. He's got another wave on its way as well. Iwandi will tank a little. Like the wave clear might just be a, a bit frustrating. Curtain Call's going to come out and try and prevent some of it. And that's a huge chunk wave. of that tower. Oh, the damage is so insane. EDG, they've got to get back to fight and reset before the fight can continue. 30 seconds on Crying. Five members strong push from RNG. They got the Elder Dragon and they might just get the game as well. JJF Balls, Requiem going to come on through and leave. Desperately trying to survive and Juice is having none of it. He looks for more in a 2v1 against the EDG bot lane. He wins it out. Now one last tower remains of EDG's hopes to 2-0 this series. RNG will not go down without a fight. Two roster changes come in today, and it works beautifully. We're going to three games as RNG hunt for redemption in the LPL. One and one. A very strong laner. They're going to have that going for them. It's just about dealing with the wave clear that Hong Kong has in those early stages and then being able to build off of that, try and find... I don't know if Juice moving in will be able to sway the tide for the side of RNG. EDG trying to group as a four and Juice ends up being their target, but RNG in the meantime just turned back onto the Grubs. Moving in now as it's a smite out from Geju, both. Uh, in fact, uh, JJ smite is available, so that should be two for the side of EDG. And now the fight, I want he finds the knockup, but it's put for Juice, dives in onto Wink, but Wink's still surviving, pulls him into the plane, gets the knockup. The counter strike was valuable, but not quite enough. Crying with a T1 emote in the middle of the fight, as he looks for Geju as well, who's stuck in the mix, gets a bit of damage down. The 5v5 out of nowhere, and EDG come out on top. Still testing out, ironing, ironing out some of those kinks. In terms of where that pick will lie, in terms of skill pops. And they, I mean, on the patch notes, they did say that the goal was to make both versions of the build a little more viable. Dive at the top side, and they make it look easy. Yep. Get you setting that one up, and Juice grabs the kill. He probably still yeah, he probably so still that damage reduction anyway. at the start, uh, you never know. And we'll never know, because he didn't do it. So. I just see Kasante in a dive situation and assume that he gets two kills. Like, <laughs> that's yeah. my, my yeah, experience that's of the champion. Nice little combo of the stun into Root. And Solo Kill gets a bit of revenge for what we just saw on the t Two man, he could think about making an outplay. Three people with that Lilia, certainly not. Especially as the Lil Lullaby comes online. Teleport from Solo Kill just to help defend. Ultimate to clear out. Oh, it's not enough. Some of that wave, but it's not enough. Five oh, hang on. Well. TP sure in the mid lane. Jigi charm comes on through stun to follow it up i mean these kills are so one-sided on both sides and they are just trying to trade but edg are still our head for now oh As, uh, i say that crying no buster shot now Internally. has the flash no minions here tango and tanking no i want the tanking and gets himself out of dodge Crying goes down, finishes off that Kraken Slayer, but still another kill for edg huh. much faster pace in this one which i am all aboard for juice He's just sort of on the wrong side of the map. Not ideal yeah. for him. And that's going to be a kill into the... Counter-Strike, like, clips his leg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've been outplayed there, haven't you, really? I wonder has also been outplayed. Uh, lots of... Joe, feels like uh, philosophically the teams just aren't mentally there for it right now, you know? But this <laughs> this game has just been nothing but cross maps, right? Teams trying to, to etch out some goal from either side of the map and... You know, yep. individuals trying to squeeze out whatever they can on, on some of these weak side plays. Scruffy Bomb comes in from Hong Kong, but will be a little bit early. Was blind in his defense, so not too soon. Time. <laughs> and I'm the cloud. I'm one of the cloud soul guys, man. I, I'll show that till I die. Hey, Rakan can use it. Rakan can use it, but I, you know, I, I agree. Yeah, see, buddy, I agree. It's a boring, <laughs> it's a boring soul this game, I fear. Uh, second charge will come out. How much trouble is JJ in? for taking this charge. Well, he's been, he's been charmed immediately, knocked up immediately, but the rest of the gang is on board. Wink protects his jungler, and they will get away with it. Was it worth it just to chunk a tower? I'm not so... So Juice, going to continue to spar with Solar Kill, but Solar Kill has reinforcements coming in. Juice going to be caught out of position now. Solar Kill trying to set this one up. Q3 dodge Juice, though. Doesn't have anywhere to go. Flash on cool down. The bomb is not quite a foul, but the uh, Requiem is. We always forget about the Requiem. Uh, and that's who takes it for himself. So 
That's a lot of gold to be injected. Yeah. Into his back oh, JJ flashes to smite Geju here. Revenge for the end of the previous game. Geju burning down and will fall. JJ gets another Dark Harvest, continues to stack up that. Secured. Yeah, they've got that in the bag. I mean, you are very jestfully asking the question whether or not RNG would happily just give it over and say, you know what, Spawn Elder in Suda. It's a bigger win condition for us, but uh, they do pick up this dragon, a lot of poke damage coming down, and I mean, even that position as a whole, gets you full passive stack. I think Iwandi, they certainly seem to want to oh. fight. <laughs> Another 1v1 in the side lane, but this time Requiem gets involved. Tang Yuan, it wasn't a fair fight. Poor guy goes down. That's a kill for Crying and potentially Baron now for EDG. RNG have to answer, but Juice is down in the bottom lane. TP is up for him should he want to rejoin this play. Get you perhaps could go for a flash smite. He's got full vision and the DPS has just continued the whole time. He walks in, but he can't get the smite and get you will fall. EDG, they get the Baron. What else can they find? Great cleanse out from leave on the single frame that the stun came through. EDG, a Baron, five remaining players and three. Get you there was like a, a panicked attempt at stopping Requiem from JJ and letting Tang Yuan win the 1v1 mm. top. Uh, it was like Very well pre been, pretty though. late if it was, but <laughs> that's, that's the only angle I can really see aside from maybe setting up for a bomb from Huan Fong perhaps. But either way, Baron was taken. Uh, look where Tang Yuan is right now. He really wants to make yeah. something happen on the map right now. He wants to stop the siege that's coming on through. Swirl Seed can't deny the recall. The one that he wants right now. No, he isn't. EDG, I'm gonna get this dragon for now as they're waiting between waves. A minute left. Cracked open the mid lane towers, but they really love to put a dent in the base. A little bonus prize on that one. Oh, TP in the top side. Ooh. Double TP in the top side. Tang Yuen has his own oh, TP. Christ, Can he get out here? Requiem comes on through. Okay, Tang Yuen doesn't even try to TP. Realizes there's no way out of this one. Just hides in the bush these Which days as a Baron started. Yeah, would you look at that? Baron comes on the map and EDG started within three seconds again. I think that's the 19th time this series. Baron taken. Uh, the combo was the wrong way round between the sleep and the bomb. And it means no significant threat there. Juice does finish off the tier two in the bottom side as I want. He looks for an engage on solo kill here. Big damage out from Tang Yuan as well. And it will be the tier two mid lane as well. So RNG at least gets something. Two towers, two inner towers. Movement speed's one of those unquantifiable kind of stats in terms of usefulness until it's not yeah, yeah i mean uh, it will help jj get in range for his requiems um <laughs> if you're from london <laughs> i have not and i am not <laughs> i'm not cool enough for this conversation oh, i'm sorry man. Uh, edgr though is the uh yes <laughs> We joke and jest because this has been a very slow game. It's been a slow series so it has. far. It has. Oh. But uh, as I say that, I want to make I short work of that fact <laughs> as he walks into the enemy team and dies. Cry takes a good chunk from Hong Fong, but I don't think it's going to make much difference. This may well be three inhibitors now for EDG. As Geju trying to get some work done, but it's gone a little bit too deep for this one. And one more auto. Whoa. No Q3 from Solo Kill finishes the job in the end. Tower shot. Not quite. In another 40 minute game, sleep onto Cryon, but he's okay, jumped away. Bomb Fong's bomb? No. Bomb no. Fong? Didn't no. go for the bomb. Requiem now across the team as Juice dives into the backside. EDG still alive for the time being. Juice just about gets out with his life, as does Solo. To not get out of position, not get caught. All they have to do is play it slow and use this Baron buff, and the game is in their hands. All they have to do is just not make that crucial mistake. Yeah, we may joke, but uh, the game is still, I mean, playable is a strong word, but RNG. Oh, just the rocket, just about, not just the bomb, just yeah. about. Still he's holding on to red buff for Jen Joe. <laughs> and he's got the red buff through. Okay, yeah. Elder Star, there is a flank behind enemy lines here. As I want the hunting for an engagement, this is going to be Elder taken, and now RNG start the fight. This is going to be a disaster. But EDG, the health bar's low. Maybe RNG can do it against Elder anyway. Maybe they can find the miracle. But the lasers come down with the burns on top. The lasers with the dragon laser. It's the ultimate. Ultimate, I guess. <laughs> As JJ <laughs> finds a couple.
Oh my days, it's been chaotic as Tango had finally found and will go down EDG. They go and sell. Double, double supers on the top side and, and EDG are really working with it, but they're slowly chunking this bot side Nexus Tower down. <laughs> Another slowly. set of supers. Slowly is definitely the word. This is, <laughs> this is like pulling teeth. Come on, lads, you can do it. Just hit the Nexus Towers. That's one down. Another bomb from Wong Fong. I swear, it doesn't have a cooldown at this point in the game. Juice taking a chunk. I want it. it goes for the quickness. Pathmaker to try and keep it away, and uh, it doesn't really do much. Just threatening. That's a route. That's the opportunity. That's Tang Yuen down. Iwandi will follow. EDG have finally done it. They were the favorites today, but they did not look like it in the games. Wait, hang on. The next isn't even down yet. No. Wait, hang on a second. No, Surely not. EDG have to make it happen. Solo kill and leave versus Juice. And Huang Fong desperately trying to keep his Nexus alive. Juice gets the solo. No, solo kill. These were some of the best moments from the matchup between RNG and EDG during the 2024 LPL Summer Split. Which moment was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below!